close your eyes and take a couple of good, long, deep, refreshing breaths. And keep it up. If you stay with refreshing breathing for a while, you find that it has an impact on the mind. The mind gets lighter. When you're feeling down, it helps raise your spirits. If you're feeling scattered, it helps give you a center. It's like having free medicine, and yet because it's free, we tend to overlook it. Because it's a skill, it's easy to miss out on the advantages that can come from paying attention to the breath. Because as we go through life, the mind needs to be grounded, and it needs to be nourished, and the breath can provide both. Otherwise, when the mind goes around, it starts getting hungry, and it starts floating around, this, that, and the other thing. It gets hungrier and hungrier, and then it just grabs onto anything at all. It's like a hungry child, doesn't know anything about what's proper food, what's not proper food. It just sees something and just stuffs it right in its mouth. That's the way the mind is if you don't take good care of it. But if you care for it with a breath, then when it feels well nourished, then you don't go around feeding on things that are going to cause harm, that are going to make you sick. In other words, things would give rise to more greed, more aversion, more delusion than you already have. And because you're well grounded, you don't feel the need to go wandering out. It's like having a home. You don't have to wander around in the streets exposed to the sun and the rain and the cold and the, and the heat. You've got a good, good place for shelter so that when it gets too, caught, <clears throat> too hot outside or too cold outside, you've got a safe place to stay. So think of this as both food and shelter for the mind as you go through life. There are going to be interesting things outside, but it's good to have a grounded mind so you don't just go grabbing at whatever catches your, your fancy. That way you can be more selective about what you want out of life and what you want to contribute to your life. And because you're in a position to be more selective, then things are going to go better. It's when people feel desperate or feel hungry or feel threatened. That's when they do things that they later regret. So you've got to put the mind in a position where it always has some shelter, always has some food. And that way you can be safe. And the things you choose to do in life will be chosen with wisdom and chosen with discernment, not chosen out of desperation or hunger. That way your life is a lot more likely to go in the direction you want. <clears throat>